The other news out of the NHL, haven't really talked about this a lot, uh, the Capitals buy Cap Friendly. And so first of all, to the people who made Cap Friendly, congratulations, make that paper. Um, from a fan perspective, it does suck. Whether you like it or not, this information is the basis of discussion on hockey players. It is the first thing we talk about them with now, and when it comes to, to team building. More so, certainly team building. But when you're talking about these guys like, ah, yeah, he's all right, but it's making $5 million. Is he a $5 million player? I don't think so. That when you have a salary cap, that's the type of conversation that's going to come in. And so Cap Friendly was a phenomenal resource to just be able to, all right, what is he? Oh, his contract's $3 million. Yeah, I would love that guy on my team. Um, and th those are the type of conversations that, you know, the, the leagues are based on, right? Like how many conversations in the NBA are around contracts and trades that you can make and uh, salary filler and all this. NFL, um, a lot of it is who can be cut, but the salary is so important to the team building that teams just draft quarterbacks just to get a cheaper quarterback that this is part of the discussion now in 2024 in sports and cap friendly was a valuable resource and the problem isn't that the capitals bought it like they they have the option to do it then do it but once it got to the point where they were going to buy it i think the nhl should have stepped in and just bought it themselves like if that is getting purchased anyway have the nhl buy it and have it be a resource on your website to help again drive discussion drive the conversation the nhl forever has not wanted this information out there and it has really bothered them that sites like cap friendly exist and like the, the information isn't secret it, it's not like somewhere else will pick it up after cat friendly, right? Like Puckpedia already has a, a lot of great information on there. It's not cat friendly, but it's fine. Um, it's just like, so that, that information isn't going away. The NHL just, Oh, finally, this problem is over. What another one? Like, come on. You know that there's another one popping up. So to try to keep it secret is just so dumb and so short-sighted when looking at how conversations around the league go. Like, yes, I would love for last year, if we could have just talked about Milan Lucic with the Flames, I guess two years ago now, just talked about Milan Lucic with the Flames with how he is playing with the Flames. Same with like Matt Station in Calgary or whoever, pick a player, right? But the salary is part of it because we are in a salary cap era and teams have but so much money to spend on players. And so if a guy is making a lot of it and not doing well, then that's a problem. And so I don't understand why the NHL doesn't want this. This could, this is an opportunity or would have been an opportunity for the NHL to actually get ahead of leagues like Major League Baseball, the NFL and the NBA. And yeah, here's all our contract info out there for God and everybody to see. Um, and this is how we can help drive these conversations. You have it a part of the, the stats thing. So you can like sort by, all right, this guy had 125 points this year, hover over his name, you're seeing, oh, he's got a $7.5 million cap hit. You know, like just, it, it can be a part of what you are doing and to fight against it is just so incredibly stupid. But it is the NHL.